After three years away, I'm home. Now I can flip the trees. Alright, so I'm back in my car. Um, we got back from Margaret River kind of late last night. Um, just having quite, I guess, a chilled out day today. I feel like I've had the busiest week. I've been on the go all week. So I'm just gonna kind of chill today. I've just gone for breakfast, treated myself to a little solo breakfast. Um, I've also just got a cookie from Get Chunky, which is my favorite cookie place in the world. Um, look how insane this is. There are like the craziest cookies. They're so good. So yeah, I had like a reasonably healthy smashed avocado breakfast so that I could have an unhealthy cookie for dessert. My hair is a state, but um, anyway, I'm going to go and check out um, the jacaranda trees. So, well, basically it's jacaranda season at the moment. So it's when like all the jacaranda trees in, in WA, um, they are like in full blooms. They have like these beautiful purple flowers on them. And there are some streets in Perth that are like all jacaranda trees all down the street. So I'm going to see if, if those are kind of out yet. Some of the trees aren't blooming yet, but some of them are. So yeah, I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to go up to Kings Park, just have a little wander around Kings Park. And then go to the beach because it it's like 22 degrees today. So it is reasonably warm. So yeah, I'm going to go to the beach and just kind of have a very very chilled out day and then I've got dinner with my auntie and the family tonight so yeah that'll be nice and then tomorrow I'm seeing my friends so yeah I feel like it's like a nice balance between time by myself time with my auntie and time with friends so yeah anyway I'm gonna eat my cookie now bye all right so I went to the first location and they weren't really fully out yet so I'm gonna try later this week um, I'm now at Old Jacaranda Way in Subi and they're a little bit better here but they're still not fully out so yeah I think I'm gonna have to check kind of maybe next Sunday so in a week's time um, and maybe they will be a little bit more out then but I'll show you what they're like here anyway just so you can see what I mean when I'm talking about these purple trees um and yeah hopefully next Sunday before I leave Perth hopefully they'll be out a little bit more um but yeah they are like my favorite trees I absolutely love them they're just beautiful so yeah anyway I'll show you them now had the nicest afternoon ever um so i've just been to floriot beach um which is my old local beach so i used to live just up the road from here um and i used to work at the cafe on the beach so i literally just went down it was only about 22 23 23 degrees today it's quite windy but it's just such a nice temperature so i just spent like two hours reading my book on the beach it was beautiful and then I went up to the cafe and had an iced chocolate it was so dreamy <laughs> um it's making me feel a little bit emotional again just because this is like this is all I've wanted for the past three years almost three years since covid and lockdown happened and the borders closed this is all I wanted all I wanted was to come home go to the beach have a nice chocolate see my friends and I'm just doing all these simple basic things that I've wanted to do for the past th nearly three years so yeah I feel like very peaceful right now very like relaxed at home comfortable and it's just a really nice feeling um so yeah I'm very happy right now I'm just gonna it was getting a bit hot and I kept putting sun cream on but I'm still a little bit cautious about getting burnt especially because I'm going to the beach tomorrow morning with Caitlin and then I'm going to the beach Tuesday as well. And then I'm going to Rottnest Island on 
Wednesday so that's going to be like a full day on the beach and in the sun so yeah I don't want to overdo it with the beach and getting sunburnt etc gotta look after my skin um so yeah I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do now I might drive up to our old house and just have a look at it um because I'm sad like that and then I think I might go down to Fremantle and go to the Fremantle markets just because it's the weekend so they're only open on Saturday and Sunday so I think I'm gonna do that um, and get out the sun for a bit now but yeah anyway I will see you later all right guys so this is the old route from our old house and I want to show you the view <laughs> this is the view from the end of our old road insane right Annoyingly, I couldn't film outside because it's so windy, but I've just, on my way down to Fremantle, I stopped off at the Bayview Lookout in, like, on the border of Peppermint Grove and Mosman Park. Um, and it's just like, I don't know, this place, it's it, it means a lot to me. It's got a lot of memories, a lot of good memories tied up with it. Uh, it just brings me a lot of peace being here and just sitting here staring at the river. But yeah, I'll show you, hang on. That's, that's the view that I'm looking at from the car. It's very, very windy outside. So yeah, I was, I was kind of sitting on the grass and I was gonna have a little chat to you all on the grass um, with the view behind me, but the wind would not let it happen. So here we are in the car again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and then head down to Fremantle.